No, you didn't burn your toast. That's the smell of Nuked London still smoking in the background. We are at Flumbly Stadium, of course, home of the Nuked London Hatriots. This town has a lot of history. You got some of the founding fathers of pro wrestling here. Yeah, Slam Adams for one. Man, he had a wicked neck crunching pile driver move. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. Terror Bay Mutineers take on the Newt London Hatriots. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim, I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant buzz on me apart next to the taco truck outside. Pulled a lobotomy shot. Raccoon Ravy's blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a brutal hit! Second down and five. trick the last play is a race how did they do that did they go 88 miles per hour just ask man he shoveled his feet so well on that play he should go to lost oh holy montezuma's revenge that's a crap your pants and die tackle oh, that montezuma was very vengeful wasn't he bricks wonder what made him so mad Probably all the diarrhea. No, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they got out the gas. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Second down and long. And the defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's gotta hurt. Gonna make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. Third down and ten. secondary for you pay him for the pick six for this you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck you know sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back well that's a lovely shake for the punter today he just oh what a great defensive play that was bricks kind of like your aunt bertha this guy has some big balls what a hit yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, and the defender cut off that pass like a suburban mom on the way to... And that mutant just about met his maker on that hit. I thought he was... The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh his head just exploded. Let me miss, let me miss. Oh, shit, I got you, you bitch. And it's
yards, first and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Hot one. into this bottle of scotch! Boom! See that move, baby? I'm the greatest! No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's bad. Totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Quarterback said they blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Second down and ten. No receivers open, so the QB just threw the ball away. Third down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. I personally think that the ginormous guy's cop. Ah, another interception. And he's off to the races. He did it. He scores. And with that amazing run, he bursts through the end zone for six. I'm a house Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Keep a good mutant down. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. The kicker died on that play. Man, that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. 
And it's first and ten. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Second down and a lot. Hot, hot one. Hot. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. his way out of that tackle. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Quarterback threads the needle for a first. Day. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. <laughs> and it's first and ten. It's about a three-yard pickup. Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. Second down and seven. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. He is fighting for every yard. It's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three.
It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hot. Saw bricks? He never saw that. I saw what you saw. A saw you never saw. See, there's the saw there. I see. Yeah, man, she's gonna turn it on now. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful. Wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That yeah, was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, right now what day is it oh mama he just knocked him into the next time zone oh you knew you were gonna see a lot of carnage today folks these teams have bad blood between them apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck raccoon rabies blood is my thought oh the player's favorite and it's first and ten Hairs once and for all. And it's first and ten. Catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. And you gotta stay focused on the field, Bricks. You can't lose your head in the heat of battle like he did. It just slows the game down. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First.
first and ten. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. And he finds open spaces for him. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. He's not going down. And Metcalf will give him a first down. I don't know if they're hands, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got dead mutant bingo. All I need is 77. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Ah, sounds like he didn't really think it through because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Second down and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And that's another turnover for the defense. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Come on! And the quarterback unleashes a sudden. Oh, ho, ho. that gets me every time. Like a jack in a box, bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is gonna blow. You just crap your pants, Junior. And it's first and ten. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like... Anyone in the mood for mutant tartar? Man, what a hit that was. just bit the dust on that play. Someone will have to call off the bench to replace him. And it's first and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to quit the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Oh, 
We're at the two-minute warning, and we'll take a quick timeout. Graham, will you tell the interns to get us some franken dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Uh, at least they can pee for me, too. And he got an off. That's a decent punt. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Oh, that'll trim your nostril hairs once and for all. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> the offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Hey, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Do us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. Second down and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. What is this, Andy's wrestling? And the offense, and they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this plan for me. Of all. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. <laughs> and the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outcome. Second down, and the offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Oh, he just got crushed. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the deep... Oh, father, I've blown up mutants right in his face. Mm. Actually, it might be an improvement. That guy was ugly. <laughs> the defense 
defense is running low on line bashers. They have only two left. They need to play smart from here on out. That's defense, Grim. You're asking too much of them. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, Grim. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And another interception. This quarter. Boom! Hey, man. I'm still on the ceiling. I am on the hill and I'll sell him. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. The third quarter is about to begin, and if it's as much of a blowout as the first half was, we may see a riot in the stands. Well, that's going to happen either way, Grim. It's a $1 Red Bull crap and vodka jello shot day. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And he's running like a moose right now. And it's first and ten. This guy's a brick shithouse. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. I don't know which guy And it's first and ten. Oh, the defender almost picked up the ball on that one. Second down and ten. Oh, with the brutal hit. And that'll bring up third down and seven. At this rate, the QB's going to have more interceptions than completions. Oh, and he oh, The unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Anyone in the mood for mutant tartar? The 30. He's at the 20. The 10. Oh, big catch! Mr. Beat for Brains ran with a ball and didn't fall down. Go ahead on now. Go ahead. The offense is down to their last surviving lineman. He's all alone out there, and when he dies, they'll have to forfeit. Uh, I know what it's like to be alone. I went to group therapy once to deal with loneliness, but no one else showing up. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. 
Well, that's a real buzzkill. And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. He's at the ten. Here comes the defense. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Brick. It means he can return it for you. You know what? Never mind. First and ten. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. <laughs> down and never gonna happen And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. They sure fucking did, Grim. They sure fucking did. And it's first and ten.
They're not happy until you're not happy.